In this video, we present you Autoware, an AI-powered instant checkout system which is specifically designed for smaller retail stores. Autoware uses computer vision and deep learning to visually identify the items which is placed on the countertop. It's an incredibly fast, contact-free, self-checkout system. So don't waste your time by waiting in long queues. Just place your things on the countertop and check out instantly. So enough description for now. So let's get start the video. These are the electronic components required for the project. In this project, we use 15mm thick plywoods of shown dimensions. Sani helps to create an even surface which is an essential requirement for painting. So we are starting with the fine grids and ending with the very fine grids. We need to attach the load cell to the center of the base. For this, mark the positions accordingly and drill 3 holes. Two of them for connecting the load cell, another for taking out the connections from the load cell. Also, we need a thin, wide slit for taking LED connection wires and camera cable to the Raspberry Pi. So, let's make a slit by drilling consecutive holes. Connect all the plywood parts using normal wood screws to form a cabinet. So, here is our cabinet and all layers of paint are still visible. Let's cover them up with a coat of paint. Firstly, prime the surfaces with the two coats of normal wood primer sanding well between each coat. Once it's done, apply a few coats of white satin finish paint for an elegant look. The load cell is used for measuring the weight of the objects placed on the countertop attached to it. Mount the load cell to the base using nuts, bolts along with the proper washers and tighten them up to secure the load cell in position. The Amplify module is an essential component for coupling the load cell to the Raspberry Pi. Now place the Amplifier module near the load cell and solder all the four incoming and outgoing connections. Refer to the circuit diagram given in the description in case of any doubts. Once the soldering is done, pass the wires through the hole that we made in purpose. A camera module along with artificial intelligence is used for the visual identification of objects placed on the countertop. Stick the camera module beneath the top side of the cabinet and connect it to the Raspberry Pi using the camera cable. For better visibility, even in low light conditions, we have used the two LED strips that are capable of illuminating the things placed on the countertop. Cut the LED strips in desired length and fix them on the either side of the camera module. A white acrylic sheet can be used as a countertop which can give a neat look to the device. Attach a small rectangular box on the side of the cabinet where we can place our Raspberry Pi and all the connections are made to it. With all of this done, the final output will look like this. Let's move on to the software part. To ensure that the load cell measurements are accurate, we need to calibrate them with either standard weights or non-weights. Let's use the cock as non-weight and calibrate the load cell. Once the calibration is done properly, the load cell can accurately measure the weight of objects placed on the countertop. For the object detection AI, we have used Edgimbals, which is a leading development platform for machine learning on edge devices. Read more about them in the description. Now let's move on to the model training part. 
to start with, let's load the dataset which contains images of the object that are to be detected. In this project, we have collected 40 images of apple, lace and cork. The more images we have, the better will be accuracy. Once the dataset is loaded, we have to label the objects in each of the images. Labeling is the process of identifying images from an image and adding necessary information about them so that the machine can learn from them. Labeling is a time-consuming manual process, but Edgimbles decreases the labeling time to a great extent by automatically identifying objects from the image. Ensure the labeling is correct for all the objects in each of the images. After the labeling is complete, let's generate the machine learning model. Follow the steps carefully and generate the model which can be used on the Raspberry Pi. The generated model has an accuracy of 98.9% which is pretty good. Just to check the accuracy of the model we have collected some images that were not used for training. Move on to the live classification and load the sample. Yeah, it's working. The generated model has identified the object in the image. Download the model and let's go to coding. The entire code for the device is written in python and the checkout page is developed using Node.js. Grab the code from the github repository whose link is given in the description. So our build is complete. If you have any doubts, put them in the comment section or feel free to contact us through our email. If you are really interested in replicating this project, don't forget to check out the project link given in the description. So see you in the next video, till then stay tuned.